All we need is four Republican senators to side with us to get 51, because I have all 47, all 47 Democrats are totally on board with it. And they're, if the, McConnell doesn't come to an agreement, you don't have that many powers as minority leader. But the power I do have is to force a vote, and we will for, force a vote on all the witnesses and all the documents. And my guess is those Republican colleagues do not want to vote against witnesses and documents because they know how bad it looks uh, back home. P Professor Tribe, that, that's, as I said to Rachel, that sounded to me like he intends to force a vote, a series of votes, uh, as, as would be the standard right. kind of strategic practice on something like this in the Senate. Uh, here's the vote on uh, Mick Mulvaney. Here's the vote on John Bolton. And, and possibly hours of argument about why we should hear from John Bolton before we then have that vote. And then similarly, with all the documents he might want to enter. Uh, so that could be right. a, a, maybe a, a week of procedure right there. I think it's very important because there are no good arguments against hearing from Bolton. There are no arguments at all against hearing from Mulvaney. And so I'd be interested in hearing, you know, what kinds of process objections are made when they are invited to hear the very witnesses that have the firsthand evidence that they want? I mean, the evidence supporting the impeachment articles was extremely strong. But some of the I's could be dotted. Some of the T's could be crossed. There are no reasons not to hear from these people. They were in the room when it happened. And I'd be amazed if people like Susan Collins and Murkowski and Cory Gardner and, and Romney um, can stand up and say in a way that, that makes any sense at all, no, we shouldn't hear from these witnesses. I don't think their own constituents, in the case of those who are up for re-election, are going to stand for it. They're not going to stand for it. And we've seen, as you said at the opening, something like two-thirds, I think it was at the end of Rachel's show, two-thirds mm -hmm. of the— uh, of the Republicans are in favor of hearing witnesses. After all, that's what a trial is. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.